Hey, my name is Bailey Weiser. I am the owner of Helge Photography, a North Georgia newborn and family photography studio, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're gonna talk everything Canva. Canva is something that I honestly was not super interested in to begin with. I thought it was super amateur. Um, it reminded me of word art and clip art from when I was in elementary middle school. And so I was not really all that interested in giving it a shot, to be quite honest. And for some reason, one day I downloaded it and kind of played around with it a little bit and I was astonished at the amount of things that I could create super easily. Um, I am a Adobe girl. Um, I love Illustrator. I love um, Photoshop. And this hands down takes a lot of the stress and a lot of the steps out of creating graphics, creating templates, and things that make my, my business run professionally day to day. And so if you are a creative entrepreneur and you're not utilizing Canva, check out this video. So if you don't already know what Canva is, it is basically a free online graphic design tool that helps you simplify creating templates and resources and graphics. And so when you log into Canva, there's a couple different options. One, you can have a free um, account. Another option is to pay for a premium membership. I enjoy the premium membership. It gives me a lot more options um, and access to things but it's definitely not necessary. So within Canva itself, um, you'll see that it gives you guides for sizes and dimensions and resolutions for a lot of the common graphics that we use. So Instagram stories, uh, Instagram posts, Facebook posts, YouTube banners, flyers, email headers, everything that you can pretty much think of. But there's also options to create your own sizes. So if you have something specific that you're needing to design, with a particular dimension and resolution, you absolutely can do that within this resource as well. I like how it has taken a lot of the guesswork out of things for me and not having to Google and research what certain sizes and, and, and pixels and everything that I need for or a lot of the common designs that I create anyways. And so I can go in there, I can just click what it is I'm needing to design and it gives me a blank template. Now within there, there are a lot of templates that I can choose from, from but a lot of times I just start from scratch and um, create some beautiful things within the, um, the sidebar. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through what exactly Canva is on the back end and how you can elevate your experience on Canva to really serve your brand the best way possible. So when you log into Canva, um, currently I have a pro um, or like premium uh, access, I would highly recommend it if you want to utilize your own fonts and um, some of the additional things that you get with, with Pro. So one of those examples would be your brand kit. So on the left-hand side, if you scroll down to brand, and um, you can see there's a couple different brands that I, that I run, but the main one that I operate with is Helgi Photography. And so on here, you'll see all of my logos are uploaded. I have um, different color um, hex codes that are on my brand. So this one's for my photography business. This one's for a course that I um, created and then my fonts. And so anytime that I go to create a new graphic, when I use this brand kit, it automatically knows my brand colors, my brand fonts, and I can upload my own fonts. And so I've uploaded a lot over the years, um, just things that I've done with different projects, but you can kind of see that's a great way to have all of your, uh, your um, logos and your fonts and your colors stored and not have to just kind of guess every time that you're creating new graphics, what that font was or what that exact hex code was. You can save it all here for easy access. So when you go home, you will, you'll see that I use this for a lot of different things. This can seem really overwhelming because I use it and my husband uses it for his work. And so one way that I like to separate things is under, um, if you go to projects and folders, you can actually create folders um, for your specific project. So I have one specifically for Hello Jude. 
I have one for my course. I have one for other things that I do. But underneath this, this is where I can store all of the templates, all of the graphics that I've created, just in a very simple and clean way to navigate. I can filter them by newly edited, by names, um, all of those things. I actually do not do a very good job of naming my things, especially if it's a one-time use. Like these right here were reels that I used once and that was it. And so I didn't even, didn't even name it. I could probably clear them out and clean out some things, but um, you can kind of see that's uh, the best way to kind of divide and organize the back end of things. So the next thing that you'll notice is if you go home, it will give you all these ideas of things that you can create. Um, and so these are already sized um, in the correct pixels. And so basically you can search for your own thing right here. You can um, type in based off templates or your own project. So if you're trying to search for that one specific project that you named, but you can't find it in all of your recent designs, you can search there. Um, or you can go to create a design and it will give you all these ideas plus an option to have a custom size. And so for example, let's say that I want to create an Instagram story. So I click on Instagram story and the first thing that's gonna pop up is this blank page. I can name my design Instagram story new February. If I can spell Feb R-U-A-R-Y. Okay, so with that, um, on the left-hand side, you'll see all of these templates. And so I can search like new website and it'll give me all of these templates. I mean, the options are pretty endless. So all these different options, these you can all change the image out. So I upload images, I can drag it and drop it, you know, put it like that. The one great thing with Canva is that with everything being editable like this, like I said, my brand kit, what I can do is click right here on any template. And if I go to background color, you'll see right here, um, it pops down all my different brand kits. So right now I have my Hello Jude one on. I can click that. That is my current brand color. And then I can go right here and I can change this. These are um, some of my recently used ones or I can go to my brand kit. Again, I can change that. I can go and change it to a brand kit color or I can just use black because that's probably what's gonna show best. Um, same with this, I can go back and use my own fonts, just like that. Change the colors, again, make adjustments as needed. So you can kind of get an idea. Everything is very drag and drop. Um, all of these purple lines kind of give you good guides as far as spacing. So you can see right here, the lines that are popping in and out. Um, it kind of is showing you what is in line and level. So that's a great way to use that. I publish Instagram stories just about every day that are all pretty similar. Um, when I have specials, I use a certain template. When I have new YouTube videos, which is, this is what this video is. Um, in case you missed it, blogs, and then these. So these templates right here, I publish every day that I have a new blog. And basically what I do is I adjust the title, I adjust some of these images and stuff, and then I hit duplicate. And then the next blog for the next day, I adjust the title, adjust the image and the tag, and then I duplicate. And so I have so many of these that are from, um, you know, each week I try and go ahead and batch edit all of my Instagram stories for the week, knowing which blogs are coming down the pipe. And so that's a great way to just duplicate everything, copies. And when you make edits to this one, it doesn't make edits to that one. Super simple way to have consistent look and feel and um, a lot of the hassle out of creating new things. Um, that is a really great option for batching content. 
Another thing that I absolutely love about Canva is that you can log in on any computer. And so if I'm working on a project here and then I need to go somewhere else and work on a project and log into a different computer or from my phone or my studio assistant needs to look at something or create something, she can log in to my account from her computer as well. And everything that I've created is in a folder on the website. And so unlike Photoshop or InDesign, um, I don't have to share files between computers or use a cloud. And so this takes a lot of the stress of making sure that we can both have access to files where if I'm on the go and working, I can access things quickly. Another thing that you can use this for is creating guides for your clients. So whether it's a pricing guide or a client prep guide, this is a great resource. So if you just create a new design in an eight and a half by 11 or whatever size you choose, this is um, for example, an, an old one that I had. And I just created the guide in a way that was easy to edit, that flowed real well. It was broken up by images and text. And when you go in um, and you're editing, one thing that you can do, um, like I said, make sure that you've got your brand kit accessed. Um, but one thing that you can do is you can adjust actual text. And so, um, for example, I zoom in a little so you can see better. One thing that I can do is I can adjust the tracking on this to make it look a little more high end. So if it was at zero, that's the standard. Um, I feel like it looks a little stuffy. And so you can adjust the tracking a bit. Um, you don't do it too much because then it's hard to read, but just a little bit. Um, you can adjust line spacing. And so if you want it closer together or further apart, um, you can adjust all of that. And so that is a great way to elevate um, elevate your projects a little bit, make it stand out, but also keep it within your brand. Um, I'm not sure if you noticed, but there is this purple box, um, and this shows the, the guides and the bleed lines and all that, but there is this purple line that goes right down the middle. That is showing me that I am a perfectly center and then these 0.8 are showing that I am in the center of the images and the text. And so I love having those guides on and to be able to see, um, making sure that I've got the right spacing. Same with these. If I wanted to adjust these at all, you can see all the purple lines. Um, when I have a perfect cross, that means that I am in the right position. So guides are a great way to utilize Canva if you are wanting to create pricing guides or um, like for example, my pricing guide right here um, is something that I send to all of my clients that are inquiring about sessions. Um, it breaks down everything in a way that is professional and clean and concise, but also um, beautiful. And so they can see some of my work. They can see um, my offers and my collections and all of those things, but it was really simple to create. And you can see like some of these are duplicate pages and I just adjusted where the text box was or what the text was. And so like, if I click on this one, I literally duplicated that and then adjusted. So you could even move that up and move these down. And that could be a completely new page. You know, it looks similar, but it looks different. You know, you could even delete two images and make those a little bit bigger, just like that. And then make sure that you are centered. Great way to um, use the design you already have, elevate it in a way. I'm gonna delete this so that I don't actually save that and send that to someone. Another thing that you can do within Canva that is, I, I don't know if it's new or if I just recently discovered it, is that you can add videos inside. And so for example, I'm gonna go right here and show you. This is, an, is actually a video clip. And so if you go to your uploads, you can upload video, you can upload audio if you want. And so for example, I just click this and drag it and it automatically includes the audio from the video on it. And so you can turn that off if you want to or change the volume. I you know, usually keep it on if I want it on unless I want a silent video. Um, but you can adjust, you can add video clips, you can change the height. And so if I wanted to make that a little bigger, could totally do that. Um, I just think it's a really fun way to elevate 
your, um, your Instagram reels and stories. And another thing you can do is create animation. And so if I am adding this onto Instagram stories, but I want it to be a little bit more than just an image, I can animate this text. I can make it rise. I can make it swipe up. I can make it pop. Um, I normally stick with fade and breathe and typewriter because I feel like those are so fun. Um, but that's another way to, to elevate things a bit. You can do that to um, any of the images as well. So say that I wanted to create a sneak peek, which I already have one, but I don't have mine animated, but let's go ahead and animate it for giggles today. So say that this is my sneak peek, sneak peek page and I wanted all of these to be animated. I can make them tile in, I make them pan, make them fade. So say that I want it to pan in, but I did not want it to go out. You can see that. You can do both on enter, on exit, and you can change the speed. So say that I want it to come in fast on enter uh, or slow on enter. You can kind of see. Some of these I think are a little <laughs> much, but something subtle and fun and just elevates the way that your clients can experience and see um, your graphics. One last way that I'm gonna talk about how I utilize Canva is with my Pinterest templates. And so my studio assistant and I have created these templates where I post my blogs from my website on Pinterest um, pretty much daily, um, if not multiple times a day. And a lot of it's saved. But what I'll do is I've created several templates for each blog and then I will um, upload the text in the image. And so each one is the same. So there's five for, that's all one blog right there. All right, so that is all I'm gonna say for today. I'm gonna wrap this video up, but that is a, a great base for you to kind of start learning how to navigate Canva. Um, there's literally so much more that I could share um, about reels and email headers and email signatures and all the things that I have created on this simple tool um, that's online. And so literally the options are endless, um, but hopefully this video was a great um, informative start for you when you're trying to figure out how to navigate Canva, how to access things, how to put your brand content in, um, and how to start using it literally today. Because this is so simple that any project that you have on your mind, you could create today with this program. I hope that this was informative and that this was helpful. If you have any questions that I was not able to get to in this video, leave them below in the comment section and I will be happy to answer them for you. Um, I will see you next week for a new video. Thanks for watching.